This eclipse is expected to draw in thousands to the festival, and those in attendance are just so excited to be a part of it. The total eclipse is an incredible phenomenon. If you are in the area, I highly encourage you to take the time off and see it. In just a day, it's like the city of Burnett completely transformed. License plates from nearly every state could be seen stuck in the traffic only brought on by the anticipation of a total solar eclipse. CBS Austin caught up with Nick Sloman, who flew in from Tokyo, Japan, just to be in the path of totality. Uh, so I came in yesterday from Tokyo. It was about a 20-hour trip to get here. I always try to come early to these festivals because uh, if you do come, you know, last minute, yeah, they can be backed up. Last eclipse for me was in Oregon in 2017, and I heard for some of the people who came later, there was like a 16-hour uh, traffic jam. So Lines of cars could be spotted outside of the festival and throughout the grounds. It runs through April 9th and is expected to draw upwards of 50,000 people to the area. As we made our way from Austin to Burnett, we saw dozens of electronic signs letting people know the total solar eclipse is inching closer, warning folks to expect traffic delays and to not park on the roads. Like yeah. compared to the last one, the last festival, it was like eight hour wait in line to get in. Yeah, it was about 10 mile back up. Yeah, so this yeah. Is, this is, this is a piece of cake, yeah. Bonnie McMillan and her husband Josh Palmer actually met at an eclipse festival and are hoping to make this celestial event even more spectacular than the first. We we went to the uh, original solar eclipse festival that happened in Prineville like in seven Oregon, years yeah. ago and that's where we met. And, and this is our honeymoon. This is our honeymoon. Like last time it was a field of like 10,000 people and when totality hit everyone was silent and all it was the just, birds shut up yeah it was just quiet. this beautiful peaceful really moment cool. and i'm just hoping to relive that again yeah. another thing you definitely want to prepare for is the weather it was already pretty warm out friday and is only expected to get warmer over the weekend and if you have face coverings hats or sunglasses don't forget to pack those because the grounds are all dirt and when that wind picks up it makes it really difficult to see much of anything in Burnett, Monique Lopez, CBS Austin News.